dear students in the previous lecture we have gone through few basic commands like units limits and layers today we will start with drawing a line a line can be drawn in multiple ways first let us go to draw menu will give the command of line from there now look at your screen and your command line command line prompts a message that specify first point so out of multiple ways to draw a line the first way to draw a line is giving a first point and end point or you can say start point and a end point on the screen like this so i have given two points and i'm drawing a line now if you want to draw a line straight that means either horizontal or vertical then we have a supporting command like ortho which is there on the status bar that is ortho mode now you can keep your ortho mode on and off as per your requirements that means if you want your lines to be straight either horizontal or vertical then keep your ortho mode on the moment you click on this icon it makes or it turns your ortho mode on and a message will be prompt on the command line that ortho is on now if i draw a line in my drawing then either it will draw a horizontal line or vertical line it will not allow me to draw a line at certain angle so this will help us to draw a faster drawing at that time drawing straight lines so this was the first method where you just give two inputs as a start point and end point by clicking on the drawing area now let us look on the second way to draw a line let's say we want a line of specified length so how to draw that almost similar process is there draw line specify first point and give the direction that means where you want to draw the line as you were doing earlier let's say i want to draw a line in this direction and you can see two fields are there one is saying 145 and one is saying 0 degree right here in the field of 145 means it is a length of the line and 0 degree means the angle of the line so if you want to draw a line at specified length you can give your length in this field let's say i want to draw a line of 80 mm 80 and then enter so it will draw a line of length 80 mm now if you want to continue to draw line you can continue you don't need to give a start point again by default software will take the end point of the previous line as a start point for the next line so now i'm giving the direction vertically downwards again my two fields are on that is uh, for length and angle right now the angle field is showing me 90 degree because it is measuring with respect to horizontal so previously for horizontal line it was 0 degree and now for a vertical line it is at an angle of 90 degree right now let us focus on the length say i want to draw a line with the length of 50 mm so i have given the direction downwards and now i am entering the length of the line 
further i am giving a direction horizontal towards left side and let me give the length of the line i want to draw as 90 millimeters so in the length field i am entering 90 like this now how to switch between two fields that is angle and length so you can press tab key on the keyboard that will switch the fields between length and angle let us look at the third method of drawing a line which is generally used at the time of drawing an inclined line at certain angle again similar procedure is there draw line start point now i want to draw a line at an angle so first i need to turn off ortho mode the moment i will turn off it it will give it will give me an access to draw or it will allow me to draw a line at certain angle now again you can see two fields are visible on my screen one is for length and one is for angle i'm switching on to tab i'm switching on to angle field by pressing tab now here you can give angles whatever angle you want to at whatever angle you want to draw now by default software will take angle anti clockwise that setting you need to change i have explained the same in the previous lecture in the unit command dialog box in the unit command dialog box we have a setting to keep clockwise on and to keep clockwise off that means either anti clockwise or clockwise right now i'm keeping my anti clockwise mode on so my line will be drawn at an angle calculated with respect to horizontal in the anti clockwise direction let's have a look on this let's say i'm drawing a line at an angle of 30 degree with the length 100 millimeters so right now my cursor is on the angle field and i am entering the angle value first i will enter left bracket first i will enter my left bracket then 30 degree enter now you can see though it was showing me downward 30 degree it has taken the 30 degree anti-clockwise direction with respect to horizontal now i can draw a line at certain length also let's say i want to draw a line at an length of 100 millimeter so like this now with the same setting if you want to draw a line 30 degree below the horizontal that also you can draw you can do line let's say giving a command first point and then going into the angle field left bracket put minus sign before you enter the value of angle and again you can draw at any specified length like this so these are the three methods through which you can draw line now we have seen one supporting command that is ortho we have few more commands like dynamic input while giving a command to draw something we observe that my two fields are opening these two fields are giving me or representing me the inputs required if i keep my dynamic input off please look at the icon over here on the status bar we have a command like dynamic input if you turn it off you cannot see those fields if you turn it on you can see those two fields 
so this is your supporting command that is dynamic input next we have a supporting command as object snap in short it is known as o snap so now what object snap do object snap presses the points like end point you can see on the screen end point mid point any particular perpendicular point it will help us to draw a line from a particular point for example i have given the command of line already i want to start my line from this end point like this so i can draw a line like this now i want to end my line let's say mid point of this line so what i'll do i'll just bring my cursor nearer to this it will prompt me that this point is a mid point and i will click over there now what happens if you don't keep your o snap on i have switched off my o snap you can see the command line over here which is prompting the message that o snap is off now draw line if i go nearby this end point it is not prompting me a particular end point now let's say i'm selecting that i'm taking very close to the end point and i'm starting a line from there so sometimes it appears that i have drawn from the correct point but if you zoom in like this you will come to know that it has not started from a particular point so at that point of time o snap helps us to start your any line or a circle from particular point like this now you can zoom over here and you can see that it has started from exactly the end point of the line even you can draw a circle like this let's say i want to draw a circle with the center as a mid point of this line like this and i want to take a radius equals to sorry i want to take a diameter equals to this line so i'll bring it up to this it will prompt me an end point i will click over there it will take as a diameter like this so o snap helps us to trace the points while drawing now next important command is o track that is object snap tracking again it is somewhat similar but helps us to draw from certain distance like for example draw line i want to start my line exactly above this point so if my o snap tracking is on it will prompt a line it will prompt me a indication that from if you want to start from here this will be the right point over here like this now if i want to draw or if i want to end my this line up to the mid point of this so i'll take my cursor over here i will not click on that i'll just bring my cursor from here to here and it will trace the point like this it will end at the height of mid point so here today we have seen how to draw a line with three different methods then we have gone through supporting commands like o snap ortho o snap tracking and dynamic input which helps us to draw our drawing easily thank you